From Costco to Nike, why major retailers are sounding the alarm on rising costs, some nearly 10 times more than the normal average. How that could hit you in the wallet very soon. And speaking of money, Democrats still pledging to spend trillions more of your tax dollars, but admit that number could change. We'll discuss all of this with the founder of Stock Swoosh, Melissa Armo. And what does President Donald Trump have to say about the State of the Union? How you can tune in to another exclusive interview. And later. Can't afford a flight to the moon? No problem. One city has a more down-to-earth option that might just, well, leave you moonstruck. All those details coming up next right here on News On. Happy Monday to you. Hope you had a lovely weekend and welcome to this edition of News On. I'm Miranda Kahn. Set today, Republicans and Democrats once again careening toward a government shutdown. Senate Majority Leader Charles Schumer has scheduled an initial vote on a short-term funding measure to keep the government afloat and suspend the debt limit for at least another year. Top Democrats uh, rejected using reconciliation to address the debt ceiling, noting that the procedural hurdles of the budgetary process could make passing such a measure very difficult before the U.S. government faces default. Pelosi, the House Speaker, also told ABC News this week, George Stephanopoulos, the host there, that she wants the debt vote to be bipartisan. The decision was made that it would always be bipartisan, whether on our part, as we have cooperated in the past with Republican presidents, or on their part. It is totally irresponsible. And it's just, it, I would think that the business community would, uh, would speak out on this because it has devastating impact on our credit rating, as well as the uh, global economy. This is a big, beyond a big deal. So let's hope that the Republicans will find some, le some enough of them, uh, find some level of responsibility to our country to honor what's in the Constitution that we not question. Republicans are still standing their ground, saying Democrats can go about it alone. So will they default? Well, as I mentioned, Schumer says they're hoping to punt that for at least another year. Now, over the weekend, Pelosi vowed that the Democrats will also pass a bipartisan infrastructure bill this Thursday and push ahead on the bigger three and a half trillion dollar spending package while acknowledging that total amount will likely drop. And a slew of factors including rising shipping costs and supply chain uh, bottlenecks, for example, are persisting and should last through the upcoming holiday season. Companies warning many retailers. I mean, we're talking Costco, Nike, FedEx, now sounding the alarm on escalating shipping prices. For example, just to kind of put this in perspective, to get a 40-foot container overseas, let's say from Shanghai to New York, that used to cost about $2,000 a year. Now it runs about $16,000. Joining us live now to talk about how this long this could continue and how this could, more importantly, impact your wallet is CEO and founder of Stock Swoosh, Melissa Armo. Good to have you on the show. Uh, so obviously, uh, everyone's been paying attention to rising gas prices, and I think I saw over the weekend, one city in California had the highest gas prices in the country, $6.75. Obviously, we've been talking about that's been hitting people hard in the wallet. There's been some debate whether or not how much of an impact the Biden administration has had on that. However, we all noticed rising grocery prices, as I mentioned, shipping prices. That's a big difference to go from 2000 to 16000 Is this all because of the pandemic, Melissa? And how do you expect that to impact us in our wallet? Well, I think it's going to impact citizens in one of two ways. First of all, we're coming into the holiday season where a lot of people like to order things online. And there's been competition in the past, free shipping, free shipping, free shipping. Well, now you may have a minimum amount companies may start to uh, put in where you have to order $100 or $200 or more in order to get the free shipping. So that could be a possibility going into the holiday season for ordering. And maybe it will get people back in brick and mortar stores. You know, people tend to buy more when they're actually in the store and retailers want that. So that may help actually holiday shopping in that sense if you're willing to go into the store, if you're not concerned about COVID. But overall, I would say this is a big deal because it could, again, mean 
more inflation where the costs go up mm -hmm. of products and services and things that people want and they want to buy or people are just going to do without and they're not going to spend as much on holiday shopping this year which again will hurt retailers nike had earnings last week and the stock fell it's falling today costco had earnings last week and rallied on those earnings but now today it's falling along with the overall market today why this is a disaster this week for as many things are coming up it's not just the government shut down. It's the overall, this $3.5 trillion stimulus plan that they're talking about, which even though they extended the debt ceiling out, they pushed it back a year, they just kicked the can down the road. Eventually, we're gonna have a problem paying for all these things if we continue to spend. There's no way that it's not going to affect every single solitary American. I know that the Democrats keep pushing and saying people that only make $400,000 a year or more, but actually it's gonna affect everyone just like rising gas prices have affected everyone and rising right. food have affected everyone. Yeah, speaking of gas prices, natural gas prices also going up around the world, in fact, and there's talk that that could affect heating bills. Uh, and we just, you know, we're just now starting our first week of, of autumn. Uh, so with that in mind, we're running out of time real quickly. 40 seconds, as I mentioned, uh, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi saying that number could come down. How much are we talking about that number could come down? And really, where should it be, in your opinion? Last 30 seconds to you. I honestly think that whatever comes down will not be enough for the Republicans to get on board. So the question is, are they going to just ram it on through? And, and the chances that they probably will. They're gonna to try to act like they're making some kind of compromise, but in the end, I highly doubt that they're gonna take out of many of the programs and things that are in this bill that are actually increasing the cost. One of them is free education, free college for people. I had to pay for my college tuition. I had to borrow to pay for it. Many people had to. I think some of the stuff that's in the stimulus bill is absolutely nuts. Well, I'd love to know what our viewers think, as always. Uh, you can chime in. Uh, what do you think that number should be on that spending bill? Again, we're talking about two separate things, the infrastructure and the $3.5 trillion reconciliation bill that they've been trying to pass for some time, uh, months, in fact. So where do you see that number going? I'd love to know your thoughts. You can always chime in by finding me at Real Miranda on hashtag share your voice. Speaking of sharing her voice, Melissa Armo, always good to have you. Thanks for your insight. Really do appreciate it. Still ahead on this edition of News On, our bipartisan panel is going to join us. Robert Patillo and Drew Hernandez weighing in. Uh, a Democratic media outlet, very left-leaning, uh, firing off on the Biden administration. So uh, what does that spell? Because the numbers have been going down, criticism when it comes to Afghanistan, immigration. We're going to talk about it next.